Hi everybody and welcome back to Virtual Storytime with Castle Shannon Library. This is our regularly scheduled songs and stories time at 1030 on Thursdays. And today we are going to read a story out of this book. This is called Five Minute Snuggle Stories and it's a Disney Pixar book. I know how much you guys like these five minute stories at the library so I got on Sam's Club and I bought two of these books and this is one of them. And today we are going to read a Toy Story story called Showtime. So let's see if it really only takes five minutes to read this story let's that'll be something fun we can find out today so this is the toy story showtime story it didn't take long for andy's toys to settle into their new home in bonnie's room everyone had been very friendly and helpful but many of the toys were still getting to know one another one morning dolly had an idea to help everyone become better friends let's have a talent show she said what a splendid plan, said Mr. Pricklepants. Soon, everyone began practicing their acts. They couldn't wait to show off their talents. Buzz Lightyear watched his friends. They all seemed to know exactly what to do, but he wasn't sure what his act should be. He wanted to be truly spectacular, something that would impress Jessie the cowgirl. First, Buzz tried juggling. Anyone need a lift? He said to the peas in a pod. The peas cheered as they flew through the air. Next, Buzz tried a karate act. Wait till Jesse sees me do this, he said, karate chopping this way and that. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Although his acts were both good, Buzz wasn't sure they'd impress Jesse. Buzz looked around at the other toys. Maybe he could join one of their acts. Buzz noticed that Mr. Pricklepants and the little green aliens were practicing a play. Jesse loves to watch plays, Buzz thought as he hurried over to them. Mr. Pricklepants greeted Buzz. We're doing a classic, Romeo and Juliet. Perfect, Buzz said. I think I'd make a great Romeo. Sorry, Mr. Lightyear, Mr. Pricklepants replied. I'm afraid the only role left is Juliet's mother. Buzz sighed. Juliet's mom wasn't exactly the role he had been hoping for. Maybe he would rather be Mrs. Nesbitt. Ooh, maybe she is Mrs. Nesbitt. That's a thought. Buzz decided to find a different group. He saw Ham and Buttercup working on a comedy routine. Buzz knew that Jessie loved a good joke. If he was in their act, she would see how funny he was. I can do impressions, Buzz announced as he joined his friends. He put on a cowboy hat and said, Howdy, partner. I'm Sheriff Woody. Did you know that there is a snake in my boot? I don't know about sounding like Woody, Ham said with a smirk, but you definitely sound wood in. Just then, Woody rode by on Bullseye. Watch how a real cowboy performs, Woody called. He and Bullseye were great at rodeo tricks. What a rootin' tootin' cowboy, Slinky said with a whistle. Buzz had to agree. He realized that Woody made a much better cowboy than he ever could. A few minutes later, Jessie hopped on stage, eager to get the show started. Are you ready to do your act, Buzz? she asked. I can't wait to see it. Buzz's smile froze. Uh-oh, he said nervously. He still hadn't decided what to do. Bullseye turned on some music to start the show. A catchy tune filled the room. Suddenly, Buzz's foot began twitching. Then his arm. Then his hips. The peas rolled out of the way as Buzz kicked his legs and waved his arms. Buzz couldn't control himself. His movements turned into dance steps, and they couldn't stop. Buzz danced over to Jessie, spun her around, and then dipped her. Uh, I, I don't know why I did that, Buzz apologized, blushing. Jessie just grinned. She knew exactly what had happened. The music had switched Buzz into Spanish mode. It's okay, Buzz, she whispered. Just go with it. Buzz smiled shyly back at Jessie. Uh, well then, he began, may I have this dance? Jessie nodded, and the two danced up and around the room. They dipped and twirled, they spun and whirled, and they smiled at each other the whole time. Their friend watched, clapping and cheering for the dancing duo.
When the music ended, Buzz was beaming. He'd finally impressed Jesse and discovered the perfect act for the show. Yeehaw! Jesse shouted. What a great way to start the show. That's right, agreed Buzz, but we have one thing left to do. Jesse was puzzled. What's that? Buzz smiled. Take a bow. So that was Toy Story Showtime, and it really did only take five minutes. So these stories are really only five minutes long. So we hope you enjoyed that, and if you'd like to come back, we're going to do two more of these five-minute stories at our other story times today at 11.30 and 4 p.m. So if you'd like to come back to see those, we hope you do. And we can't wait until we can be back in the library in person and have story time with you there. But until then, we'll be doing it virtually. So... We'll see you soon and have a great day.